flat and motionless plane. Uh, you're being, sar- you're being sarcastic. That, that's a prank call. I'm astonished by how difficult it is to actually move around. The idea could like reach out and grab something with one of these gloves? No way.
so I have spent years now um, looking at the lunar wave footage, looking at space, realizing that nobody is going to the moon. Nobody is going above what we call low Earth orbit. So I'm here to tell you that I have come to the point of looking at the encoded memes, movies, and everything else, and I believe space is very likely liquid or water. Now many people point this out that read the Bible and other religious traditions, and I would point out to people who do not claim a religious tradition that this text is in fact very old in all these Bibles and other religious texts, and they do in fact uh, make claims that the firmament seps separates water from water. That's the Christian version. There are many other versions that echo this sentiment. If we're to take the text at just face value and look at it, why is it telling us this? Well, with years of study in my back pocket now and many thousands of hours of telescope time, I've come to the conclusion that no rockets, no machines, no people go above what we call low Earth orbit. There seems to be a hard, fast boundary there, which is echoed in the language of the firmament. Um, and to top it off, we are beginning to question the distance that the moon is from us. We are questioning the distance that the sun is from us. And then we have the all-important 2012 lunar wave footage, which I have said on many occasions, in fact, looks a bit like water. So I comfortably make the statement today that I think it is quite likely that space is liquid. Um, how we can prove this, I'm not really sure, but I do know that continued observation is a step in the direction of trying to prove what, in fact, space is. For a lot of people, that's going to be a bridge too far, a statement that's just outlandish. But I would remind people that the only way that we learn new things is from individual thought and people who do not buy the party line and go out and look for themselves, which is what I have tried to do here. If I'm wrong in 100 years, nothing I've said or filmed will have mattered. If I'm correct or even close to correct, then hopefully I'll further what we know. In my view, everything we know about what we call space has been lied about. And so with that, I give you space, likely water in my view. Cheers. Now check out this phenomenal revelation. Come over here to Facebook, type in Rob Skiba Sky Ice, and you'll stumble upon this incredible story. This guy talks about this blue ice, this utterly freezing blue ice that they've found at, they call it the wall. You know, it's like hundreds of miles in Antarctica. This guy was in the army from 97 to 2000. He was down, he was posted down in Antarctica and he talks about this incredible blue ice. It's like a t top secret, you know. It's like it's so freezing cold that it would like destroy your hand. If you were to actually hold it in your hand, it would destroy your hand but there's a high possibility that the sun is far enough away from the from the walls and the top of this firmament or this dome that we're living under that it is utterly freezing and this blue ice could be all over the walls and the ceiling of this dome or firmament and that's why the sky is blue I know this guy Jesse Spots has an incredible video where he believes that the Illuminati which controlled the Beatles and produced this song we all live in a yellow submarine it's like they are mocking us they are telling us absolute truth right in front of our face as though it's science fiction in other words the outside of the firmament is golden golden in color or yellow we all live in a yellow submarine we're submerged in water the inside is the blue ice all around the walls and ceiling of the firmament and they are literally mocking us blue ice which could be why the sky is actually blue but I do encourage you come over here Rob Skiba blue ice and read this phenomenal story of this guy. He says, after handling it for about 15 minutes, it was almost completely gone. The gloves were dry. It, it's like it just evaporates. 
And he goes on to talk about how they created a expensive, sophisticated, boring machine to try to drill through this this wall, they call it. The wall, or I call it the ends of the earth. And they could only get so far. And it was so cold, they had to abandon the project. You know, but this story, it is worth your time. If, if you want a flat earth revelation, or why the sky is actually blue, or you know this blue ice along the sides of this firmament and the ceiling you might want to come check out this story go to Facebook type in Rob Skiba uh, sky ice I'm sorry it's not blue ice type in sky ice and check out this story it is so entertaining